All right, I'm gonna show how to properly change your mag release to the left-hand side. So we're gonna start, um, you're gonna take out your um, slide retaining pin. So there's a video that is on YouTube that shows how to properly take that pin out. So once you take that off, you'll be able to see your fire control group. Uh, if you notice these two pins that are one in the rear, one in the front, those are what hold your fire control group in and they also um, hold down onto your magazine release uh, retention piece, if you can see in, in the camera. So you can take um, either a bev block or um, a hockey puck or anything to, to make sure you're holding the, um, the, the frame when you smack the pins out. The rear pin you can smack out as well as the front. So these pins are both the same size. So you don't have to worry about making sure that, that you're mixing them up. You can put them to the side. Now your fire control group will slide completely out and you can set that to the side. You have nothing that you need to do with that. So inside your frame, there is going to be a raised piece of uh, plastic, which is your retainer and that holds your um, magazine release in so that it does not fall out. If you slightly press onto the magazine release, you can pull up on that pin that will pull out your retainer and then your mag release will come out. One thing to keep in mind is this small spring can fall out. Um, if that falls out, you're gonna probably lose it because it's super small. So if you take that and it was, it was in this way for right-hand shooters, you're gonna flip it around. Make sure that your spring does not come off. Slide it back in the hole. And if you put your finger inside the mag well and push it to where it's completely into the channel, and you'll feel spring tension, you're going to go ahead and you're gonna take your retainer, put it the opposite direction that it was in. So in this case, if you're looking at it, it's gonna be on your left-hand side. If it's on the left-hand side, that means that it is for left-hand uh, mag release. So you can see it does have spring tension. Then you can go ahead and slip your module back in and it can slip straight up and down. You do not have to really tilt it in in any special way. So once you're in, you take your uh, your block. The block's really not super necessary when you're putting it back together. And then when the pins are starting, you'll hear that they will clip into place when they're fully seated. So it clipped into place. Now your module is back in. So you can put your slide back on. Make sure that uh, you're not putting any force on this barrel. If you do, you will push it and it will block the, the channel for putting your pin back in. And then you're gonna use your, your normal um, operation to put it back together. You will have to mess around with it a little bit. Once you get it back in, you can lock it to the rear and close your disassembly lever. And then you can verify that your magazines are clipping in as well as um, freely coming out of the magazine well, and at that point you did your conversion.